Welcome to YouTube Excel Lookup Function Series number 14. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link and download the Excel workbook, Excel Lookup Function Series 1 to 15. Hey, this is number 14. We have a cool function to look at. It's called choose. I'm going to click in cell uh, C4 here because I accidentally left the formula there. I'm going to hit delete. Now we're going to see how to use choose. I want to compare it to something we did earlier in one of our earlier functions um, videos. I'm going to click in this cell here and our goal was to select from a list of employees to take out the garbage for the week. Now, now what I wanted to be able to do is hit the F9 key and have a different employee's name come up each week. Now I'm going to hit the F2 key. What we did earlier is we use the VLOOKUP function and we use the RAN between to generate numbers between 1 and 4 and then we artificially created an array, a table array right inside our VLOOKUP function using curly brackets and commas and quotes and semicolons. Now you can go back and look um, it was uh, in this series number five where I looked how to do that. But that's, that's a little complicated. There's actually a much easier way to do this if you actually want to put the values like Sue and Joel and Chin and Fred right into the formula. And the answer is, I'm going to click escape, escape, escape. There we go. And the answer will be the choose function. I'm going to click right here. And we type equals choose. Now it's a pretty simple function. You just type in your index number, one, two, three, four, five, six. If you were going to have six values, any one of those, uh, you could have this look at another cell even. But the idea is, if this says two, it's going to choose from the list that's inside of the choose function the second value. So what I'm going to do instead of typing in one number, I'm going to do a ran between function here, and it will randomly generate numbers between one and four. Now, if you're in earlier versions and you don't have ran between, go to the tools menu, add ins, and click the analysis tool pack, and you can get that excellent function ran between. So I'm going to type ran between. By the way, it is uh, automatically in 2007. We need a bottom, a top, and close parentheses. That'll randomly generate numbers 1 to 4. Now, the way the rest of this works, once we have our index number, we put a comma, and we simply add, type all of our values in. Since we're using words, I'm going to type in um, the words in quotes, because that's what formulas need in Excel. When you use words that are not names, got to put it in quotes. So Sue will be our first one, and it's in quotes, then comma, and then Chin will be our next one, in quotes, and then comma, and then Fred, in quotes, and finally Joel, in quotes, close parentheses. That's it. That's what's so nice about the choose, is if you have your index number here, you can just type your list right in. I'm going to hit Enter. Looks like we have a problem. Sure enough, there it is. And sometimes when you have a problem, the um, Excel will be polite and highlight it. Other times when it can't figure it out, it won't. Hey, look, I have a single quote there. Now I'll put a double quote. Enter. Now I'm going to hit my F9 key. Boop, boop, boop. And there you can see. Again, uh, this choose function is much easier than that VLOOKUP with typing in all the curly brackets to make an array. All right, we'll see you next lookup trick.